If you have a layover in Toronto and you're wondering what can I do? Well, come with me as I show you a few things that you can do while you're here in Toronto. Let's get into it. Just landed at Toronto Pearson International Airport or YYZ and have a layover? What should you do? Well, head over to Terminal 1 and jump onto the Union Pearson Express. It's only a 25 minute train ride from the airport to downtown Toronto for only a cost of $12.35 Canadian. Once you get to Union Station, why don't you grab a coffee and a muffin at Balzac's, the coffee shop featured on Dragon's Den on the CBC. Once you grabbed your coffee and snack, head over to the Skywalk and visit Toronto's most popular tourist spots. When you exit the Skywalk, stop for a second and look up. The CN Tower, the third tallest tower in the world and the ninth tallest freestanding structure. Walk around the base of the tower and get the best views and photos. Also, try to see if you can find the glass floor. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and that bell notification to get notified when I post new videos. Right next to the sand tower is Ripley's Aquarium of Canada, an aquarium which has 5.7 million liters or 1.25 million gallons of marine and freshwater habitants from around the world. Also beside the sand tower is the Roger Center, originally the Skydome. It is a multi-purpose retractable roof stadium, which is home to the Toronto Blue Jays, 1992 and 93 World Series champions, which was Canada's first World Series title win. Then walk across the street to Roundhouse Park, which is a 17 acre park, which is home to the Toronto Railway Museum, Steam Whistle Brewery, and the restaurant and entertainment complex, The Rec Room. If you'd like to learn more about some of these places, check out the description below for links to my previous videos. Once you're done walking around Roundhouse Park, walk a bit south to the Toronto waterfront and take in the sights. If you're here in late spring or the early fall, take a boat ride in the Toronto Harbour. At this point, you might be a bit hungry. Stop by Pier 6 and grab a beaver tail, a Canadian treat. My favorite is the avalanche. Who doesn't like cheesecake? Also, don't forget to stop by New City Hall and check out the Toronto sign and get your photo in front of it. The sign was put up for the 2015 Pan American Games and it had a facelift in 2016. But don't be that person that takes millions of photos. Yeah, we get it. Okay, stop. No, really, stop. Right next door is Old City Hall, now a courthouse, but was once the home of Toronto City Council up until 1966. Also take a look at the War Memorial out front to honor those who served in the First and Second World War. And beside that is the Toronto Eden Center, the most popular mall in Toronto. 
walk inside and take a look at the art piece called Flight Stop. If you still have a bit of time before your flight, head over to the distillery district and take in this amazing place. Once you're back at Union Station, to get back on the UP Express, check out the departure board to see that your flight is still on time. Also, if you need to pick up a bit of cash, there's an ATM which gives you currencies in US dollars, British pounds, euros, and Mexican pesos. <laughs> Once you've done visiting everything in Toronto, head back onto the UP Express to go back to Pearson Airport and grab your flight home. Thanks for watching, and please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment of where you'd like to visit. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, I really would appreciate it. And again, I'll see you next time on Nick Tours.